Hey, greetings from Mr. Big. So today we're going to um, do a little video about reporting fishbowl data with Power BI. So the fun thing about this is, um, you know, fishbowl, of course, talks to QuickBooks, but um, there's also an ODBC driver for it. A little bit later, we'll actually install it. But if you use that ODBC driver, then you can actually uh, fire up Power BI and uh, the designer and um, do some cool stuff. So let's install the driver. Right, so the first thing we got to do is we um, just do the default install of, of the driver. I won't really walk through some of that, but what I really want to show is kind of the actual, the pieces inside, you know, once you actually hit the uh, default installer and get all the pieces in. So it really doesn't matter what you call the data source name. You can call it anything you want. Um, the thing you really want to know, though, is <clears throat> the IP address where your server is. Now, if you're installing this driver on your server, you can just put localhost. Um, in this example here, um, going out and doing it to uh, a machine, um, uh, installing the driver, pointing to another machine, right? So with the port 3305, the user, of course, is gone, and the password is phishing. So gone phishing, super complex, right? So if you put gone phishing in, then you can hit the database drop down. And once you put the database drop down, then you can uh, either hit test or um, just, you know, say OK and you're done. Boom. ODBC driver is now installed. So let's next actually just jump right on to the end of the solution, right? This is Power BI using Fishbowl data. So what we've done here in the system is we've actually gone through, created a little data model just talking about parts and um, push that up to the Power BI cloud, right? We're in the Power BI cloud here. So in this case, right, we're just walking through different descriptions, erasing it, just to show kind of the interactivity of the Power BI platform. It's just like a super interactive environment. And I think that's one of the most uh, important parts. So besides Fishbowl, right, you can actually pull in financial information. This is an example of uh, an HOA's financial information up in Power BI. Um, you know, so really, you know, to me, one of the things that I talk a lot about is it's the single spot for all of your um, reporting needs. And I think that's one of the things that's really cool about it. So again, one last little peek at the fishbowl stuff. Um, and uh, so here's my contact information. Love to, uh, to help you get your fishbowl information um, up in the cloud so you can see what's going on with your parts and deliveries.